who lives in a pineapple under the sea. Now who gets blown fish. up by bats oh. so ferociously. Oh, swat, 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 That's right, swat, swat. today we're fishing a Spongebob lure. Well guys, we got a fun one for you today because we are gonna be testing out the world's first ever Spongebob square pants lure. That is right, last night I went ahead and rigged up this custom made Spongebob lure, got ourselves some nice treble hooks on there, a nice little spinner blade at the tail, and uh, some weights on the bottom, give them some little metal booty plates right there. So I'm not too sure how this is gonna work, but this is gonna be my first ever custom made lure, and it's the first ever Spongebob lure that I've actually seen out there. So I'm really excited to try this out, I'm really excited to see the action of this thing, and honestly just see if it catches any fish. So we're gonna be doing some pond hopping around today. We just pulled up to our first spot, it's a pretty nice looking spot sun is pretty high out there it's about 10 40 in the evening got a late start today but i'm excited to see what this thing can do and see if we can catch some fish on this bikini bottom not gonna lie this location is pretty nice right here we got a nice flat some good shallow clear water nice wind and then you turn around right behind us we got some tunnels that open up to another pond right there so we're gonna put the big camera away start fishing this thing i'm gonna try to get some action shots but it probably won't happen at this area it'll probably happen at the other one uh, just because there's so much vegetation up against this line so let's start casting this bad boy and see what it does and hopefully not get it snagged up or anything like that before we actually catch anything so let's get out there all right guys we'll just jump right into and talk about the setup we're going with this is just a guggen twitch rod it's got some kind of medium light action it's nothing too heavy and this lure is kind of small and i'm not too sure what the action is going to be like so i want the kind of rod to allow this thing to finesse a little bit line we're rocking 15 pound fluorocarbon line so it's a mix and uh, we're running this on the uh, shimano xsense dc so this is like kind of like a light finesse uh reel i'm looking down right here in front of me take a look at that crawfish arm so we do know that there's some fish munching crawfish at least in this area I highly doubt I can walk on this. Yep, go right through that. So I'm gonna try to find an area, just walk around a little bit, see where we can toss this thing. As far as this rig, how I got everything set up, these hooks are two different brands. One's a brand called Decoy, and that's what's uh, on the back right here with the blade. And then on the front, it's just some hooks that I stole from another one of my baits. I didn't have another one to match that size handy at least. So got that on. We got these weights from a, a company called Tool, I believe. Um, oh my goodness. I just sunk right down. Okay, well good thing I'm wearing waterproof shoes. Let's get a cast out there. Okay, so it it casts really far, which is nice. It's got that blade as a tail, so I'm hoping that'll help it mimic some bait fish or something. Uh, I'm not too sure how it's floating though. That was what I was worried about, honestly, and that's why I went ahead and put those weights on that booty because I want to make sure that these hooks are facing downwards so that way any fish that do come up on this thing are able to you know, smack the hooks and not hit them in the face or hit them in the nose or anything like that. I think SpongeBob's doing exactly what we want. He's, he's hitting that backstroke. So that's what we want him to be doing. I'm not sure, I can't really tell from this distance. Before we get to the other side, over there there's a nice little pocket over here with some shade. I'm gonna try to get it as close as I can to that. I'm trying to come off that edge like a frog or something that is treated like a bait fish. Oh, oh my God, I got smacked right there last second. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was a bass too. That scared the crap out of me. I was not expecting that. So I knew there might be something over here in this shaded little pocket. Like it just looks a little bit better, especially for the sun that's beating on my ankles. Fish are thinking that same thing. They're like, dude, I need something to cool me down. Just slow rolling this thing. Might be the way to go with that blade. All right, time to make our way through the, the canal. Make our way through the tunnel. What the, what the hell, dude? All right, we're on the other side. Oh my God, really muddy. That flood definitely filled up this area. Water probably won't be as clear. Fish are freaking out because that bird just passed by. So I can see that there's some fish over here. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, really, really clear water. The side of the pond can be pretty good typically. Got a nice bait fish presentation on there. This is a pond I use chatter baits a lot at. So I'm hoping it'll give us that same look, that same quality. We'll find out here shortly though. You really never know what's gonna happen. That SpongeBob's looking good right now. Bait fish are scared of them, so 
Looks like something's supposed to be in the water, apparently. You're like, oh, SpongeBob, what are you doing here, bro? I thought you were in the salt water. I can already tell today's a day where my ankles are going to get so sunburned. All right. Come on, SpongeBob. Gotta help me get something going here, man. All right, guys, I don't know how this happened, but somehow you can see this. I drove onto a golf course and uh, I got all the way out here without anybody stopping me. There's a pond right there. Let's go. Worst thing that happens is they tell me to leave. Let's see what happens right here, dude. This pond looks so juicy. Holy crap. Oh my god, it's so clear. So clear. I'm gonna try to blend in with the grass over here. Come hide behind these grassy knolls. Okay, I'm gonna work around this pond and try to fish it thoroughly. But I'm gonna try to stay. Oh, oh my god. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking that way. I wasn't looking that way. We had a blow up. We had a blow up. I was turning around, trying to make sure that my body was lined up with these grass patches. We had our first blow up at this spot. Makes me pretty happy. Oh, oh my God, it got swatted at again. Oh my God, it's getting swatted at. You guys see this grass patch right here. Come right out of that. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, just what I thought, just what I thought, just what I thought. Just what I thought. Let's freaking go, boys. We got ourselves a fish on the SpongeBob lure. I'm trying not to freak out so much because there's a ton of golfers behind me. And that golf shop's right behind me too. But I gotta get some B-roll for this. Okay, look at that. First fish on our SpongeBob lure. Top water below, right outside that grass patch, just like I was assuming. Not a huge bass, but exactly what we want. Something that's gonna crunch that bad boy, get all the hooks in its mouth, really take advantage of those little bait fish imitations that that back blade's doing. So there we go. First SpongeBob fish of the day. Who would have thunk we can get him on the bikini bottom. To get it right back over there, we got our first blow up. I have a feeling there might be another one or two. Yep, yep, right there. Yep, that's another one. Right next to that grass patch. <laughs> Keep it low, boys. Let's go. Second fish. Same exact size, same exact spot. Second cast right there, guys. There we go. Getting them on Bikini Bottom's finest. That's SpongeBob lure, man. Let's freaking go, guys. This is insane right now. Blow my mind, honestly. There you go. Just clear, clear water. Nice vegetation. It's like the vegetation you want. And the way that those bait fish. We're just roaming up on me after those first few casts and then the blow up that I had after that, like just automatic, like this is the spot we're gonna try to break down until somebody kicks us out. Try to get the most out of this bikini bottom fish and lure. Now we can start a fit. Oh, as soon as, hit, as soon as I hit the water, try to keep him down. That's a good one, at least better. Yeah, this pond's stacked. That's a good fish. He's trying to get me caught up in this grass. Not today, buddy. Yes. Dude, let's freaking go. That is the one that we wanted right there. That's like a good two pounder, maybe three pounder almost. Now I'm gonna say two, let's not get crazy with it. There we go, guys. Our biggest one of the day so far. A stout, probably two pounder female bass probably would have completely engulfed that thing if we didn't pull her up so quick but got it as soon as it hit the water that's what you love with kind of these like semi top water lures it's like a slow fall so as soon as it hits the water it gives them time to still smack it on top of the water and i love that stuff fish both columns and uh, you can still get really nice fish like this let's get her back in the water though man appreciate every single fish we've gotten these we got three fish in the last four casts and i think we fished three ponds today just came up across this pond accidentally came onto a golf course Sometimes you just gotta go for it, guys. You never know what's gonna happen until you try it. Crazy thing about this pond too, is since the water's so clear, so vivid, these fish, very, very pretty colored fish, very bright, very intense colors. The greens are very, very bright because the water's so clear, they gotta blend in with this vegetation that actually seems to be very much alive. Ooh, this heat's bad over here, man. 
It's enough to make me want to quit. All right, it's game time. It's time to get some water, hit up the next spot, or at least change up this spot because they're not biting no more. Got to know when to move. Now's the time. We found our next spot. It's literally right off of the road. Oh, good bass just came out of this corner. That's good to see. Oh, swipe, 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 fish, 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 fish. Whew. You guys might be good luck. There we go guys, that is our fourth fish of the day on this Spongebob lure. Let me get him unhooked real quick. A little tiny bass, we'll take that though. There we go, fish number four of the day. A little tiny dink bass, but I will take every single one we can get. There he goes, back in the water. Let's see if we can get a few more in this little pond. I knew it, I was like, let's try out one more spot over here. Sure enough. All right, guys, that is really gonna do it for today. Been out here for the last four and a half hours, and I think we got four fish total. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with this bikini bottom sponge owl lure, because a lot of times when I do fun stuff like this or when I design and create lures like this, they don't really turn out or do what I want them to do. It mostly is like a one fish, like a two fish kind of thing, and it's just a gag that I caught a fish in the first place. But we got out here with this bikini bottom lure, the SpongeBob lure, first in the world ever like this. And honestly, it slayed. It did really good. I lost some fish, I caught some fish, and overall, the action on this thing was pretty amazing. I'll walk you guys through everything on here. Once again, we got some tool sticker weights. We got a decoy little number six spinner little hook on the back. As far as the hardware goes for this thing, I just picked up some basic little screw locks that you can get at Home Depot. I'm not too sure the size. I'll go ahead and leave it right here below in the description though. But that is going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe button, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.